What up guys, my name is Jeffrey from Inside Audio and today we're gonna talk and test Apogee Symphony. This thing was announced at NAMM last edition and it took a bit of some time before it got really into the music stores and I got it in my hands, but it's here. And I must say, I tested it already. I'm amazed, I'm just amazed by this product. And why? Let's find it out in this video. Apogee Symphony. The really thought behind this is Apogee Symphony are their flagship audio interfaces which come in rack format and are used in more professional high-end studios. But what if you want to take that quality with you? You can't because it's so big, it's in rack format. That's why the desktop version had to come. And now Apogee Symphony quality and technology is available in a smaller audio interface that's more accessible to a wider audience. So I think this is a real game changer if you're looking for that precise quality audio um, and still affordable in a desktop format. So which functions does this small desktop audio interface have? It has two microphone preamps that are high quality, up to 10 inputs, 14 outputs if you want to, DSP which makes sure plugins can run on the audio interface itself so you will save up your computer power. It's USB-C connected, um, it has a touch screen here, high-end preamps as I said, these are the preamps that you can find on the Symphony, it's really next level sound that you get from that. Uh, preamp modeling, since there are three preamp modelings built in, which we're going to show you in a minute, um, and much more. So the build quality is great, you have one big volume button uh, on top here, um, you got a guitar, like an instrument plug-in, a headphone out, headphone out, and you have two uh, dual inputs here still, and two plugs, outputs for your headphones obviously, and a USB host to update uh, any software, which I did, I had to upgrade the, the firmware, and now it's running smoothly. So USB-C power connection, which you can turn here, so you make sure it's locked and you cannot pull it out by accident, that's nice. So let's put it on for now. You see a white screen in the beginning, and then it's flashing, when once you start it up. So here's the start screen. Overview on the screen, and as you notice, you have only one button that's just to select something if you click on it, or you can uh, engage, you can increase the input gain, for example, or you can scroll to menus and all that stuff. So um, here see all the essentials. You have the output for your studio monitors, where this is really one click and you go. But if I go to studio monitors now, so if you double tap, for example, on studio monitors, you go to the settings of the studio monitors. Here you see the level, the output level, you can mute it, you can dim it, as you are uh, maybe familiar with on a normal studio monitor controller. And that's super nice, it just works really well. Here I have some other settings that you can go through. Um, the same is actually for the input, so you have input here um, from, uh, in, from input one. And if you click here, you can select the Apogee channel strip. And this is what you really pay extra for, you know. You see all those functions you have here, you can switch on, you can switch it off, which is really nice. So those effects are then instantly put on the vocal chain uh, or instrument chain as you're working with. As well as the preamp, which you can select, um, which we're gonna let you hear in a minute how that sounds. And this is just amazing technology built in. Um, and that's basically it. But the thing is really, uh, you, this comes as well with software, those preamps, so legendary classic preamps that has just like a really specific character to it, which is just, if you're on the road, if you wanna have it in a small format, this is close to the highest standard quality you're gonna get in your recording. I mean, working with a cheaper audio interface in a range of 100 euros, 200 euros, is fine, does the trick if you're starting out, but this thing just delivers quality. Just high-end conversion of analog recordings from your microphone into your audio interface and convert it to your DAW. And this thing does that in the highest format as po possible, which we know from the Symphony range from Apogee already. So how does that sound? Is that really quality? Is that worth it? Let's check out the audio recordings right. we did with different four, preamps right two, here. Three, four, 
Once I arrive, you feel me moving closely, surrounded by this crazy vibe. A two, a one, a two, a one, a two. Once I arrive, you feel me moving closely, surrounded by this crazy vibe. Once I arrive, you feel me moving closely, surrounded by this crazy vibe. So to recap this, overall it's a super well-built audio interface. As you can probably see on this video, the quality is just amazing. Metal outlet, um, one big volume button that feels really well. Just the control with a touch screen can sometimes with other devices be a bit of a hassle, but this just, this just works very smooth. It's just what you can expect in this price class. And the thing with their Symphony flagship quality now being accessible in a $1,500 audio interface, which makes sure you get the max out of your recordings, is just a game changer in my opinion. I think the whole flex of this audio interface um, is really well thought through, you know, the design, the screen on there, it's easy to control. All in all, I think Apogee really nailed it as well with this audio interface. This Apogee Symphony desktop brings high-end sound to any desktop for a affordable price tag instead of costing five, four thousand euros, 1500 euros, dollars, and you're ready to go. You can really step up your recordings to the next level. I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked Apogee Symphony. We did at least. If you do, please like this video, subscribe to the Inside Audio YouTube channel, and hope to see you guys the next time. And remember, always keep making music. Until next time.